Good morning, WT. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Blessed be the name of the Lord God Almighty, who always causes us to triumph in every situation. Come on, come on. I want to welcome you as you join this morning as the blessings of the Lord settles upon us. Jesus is Lord. Come on, I just want to wake up everyone as they come in this morning to God's presence. We thank you, Almighty God. We glorify your name. We bless you. We magnify your name for you alone are worthy of our praise. Thank you, Jesus. You know, as we start this morning, I I, I, I want to start with a confession, a song of confession. Morning, morning, everyone. I just feel, I just want to go straight into God's presence this morning as we all worship his name. Um, and there is a song that I want us to all sing together as uh, members of Worship Tabernacle. Um, and the, the the song says, and, I'm, and you you can want to type it out. It's it's um, I think it's mainly by Maverick City Music, and it, it resonated in, in, with my spirit. And I'm not going to sing the whole thing, um, but 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 it does say, um, I, I I want I want to be tried by fire, purified. You, God, take whatever you desire. It says, Lord, here's my life. You see, as you all join in this morning, I just want you to, 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 find, to, to, to find that song. It says, I want to be tried. That's our heart's desire this morning. I want to be tried by fire, purified. You take whatever you desire. He says, Lord, here's my life. And, and, and then he goes on in one of the songs. He says, clean my heart, purify my heart. I want to burn for you. Only for you. Not for any other thing, but only for you. He says, take my life as a sacrifice. I want to burn for you. Only for you. I, I, I hope you, 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 you're hearing this as, as, as you're all joining in this morning. It's just a simple, wonderful song that I just want us to use to worship God this morning. I, I want to be tried by fire, purified. I, I want you to think about that quickly as, as you, I want to be tried by fire. Did you see that? Purified. You take whatever you desire. It says, Lord, here's my life. Let's see how we can manage this. I want to be tried by fire. Purify. You take whatever you desire. Lord, here's my life. I want to be tried by fire, purified, you take whatever you desire, Lord cares my life, I want to be tried by fire, purified, you take whatever you Let's say, I want to be tried by fire, purified. You take whatever you desire, Lord, hell is my life. I want to be tried by fire. We keep singing over and over, purified. 
glorified. You take whatever you desire. Lord, here's my life. I want to be tried by fire. Purified. You take whatever you Here's my life one more time. I want to be tried by fire, purified. You take whatever you desire. Lord, here's my life. And He says, Clean my heart, purify my heart. I want to burn. Someone only for you. Take my life, take my life as a sacrifice. I want to burn for you, only for you. Did you hear the words? Let's go on. Only for you. Take my life. Take my life as a sacrifice. I want to burn for you. Lift your hands and say, Only for you. Clean my heart. Purify my heart. I want to burn. Sacrifice. I want to burn for you. One more time. Only for you. Clean my hands. Clean my hands. Purify my heart. It's a confession. I want to burn for you. Only, only for you. Sacrifice. I want to burn for you, only for you. I want to be tried by fire, purified. You take whatever you desire. Lord, here's my life. I want to be tried. By fire, purify, you take whatever you desire. Lord, here's my life. I want to be tried by fire, purified, you take whatever you desire. Lord, here's my life. I want to be tried by fire, purified, you take whatever you desire, Lord, yes, my life, worthy is your name. Worthy is your name, come on, worthy is your name, Jesus, you deserve the praise, worthy is your name, lift your hands, worthy is the name. Jesus 
deserve Come no more You deserve the praise Worthy is your name Worthy is your name Jesus You deserve the praise Worthy is your name Worthy is your name Jesus You deserve the praise Worthy is your name Worthy is your name Jesus You deserve the praise Worthy is your name Worthy is your name Jesus You deserve the praise Worthy Father, we thank you because worthy is your name. Worthy is your name. You deserve the praise. Come on, WT, give God some praise. Let it be a song of consecration. If you can, just use these songs as you go through the rest of the day. And I believe that it will be a blessing in Jesus' name. Someone say amen and amen. We are going to go to some scriptures right now and we are going to read it and it is going to be a blessing in the name of Jesus. I feel that I feel the presence of God uh, here this morning. I feel the presence of God here. Uh, we, we started the scripture yesterday. We talked about vision. He says in Habakkuk 2, he says, uh, I will stand on my watch and set myself on the rampart and watch to see what the Lord says. And the Lord says, write the vision, make it plain. He was speaking about elevated to see, elevated to see. And, and what I want, uh, the scripture that came to my mind uh, this morning as we continue to talk about vision and eyes that we'll see is in Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 18. Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 18. It says, the vision, the eyes of your understanding. Kampa hutashata. I can feel God here. Kandobo hushata baha. I can feel God here this morning. I can feel God here this morning. Gata Baba. Thank you, Cecil. Thank you for that. Uh, I can feel God here this morning. It says, it says, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened. That he says, I pray that the eyes of your understanding, Ephesians 1 18, I pray that the eyes of your understanding, I pray that the eyes of your understanding, I'm going to repeat again, I pray that the eyes of your understanding may be enlightened, that you may know, these are the two things we're praying about, eyes and knowledge, that you may know what is the hope of his calling, what are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints? Ah, Matobe, somebody uh, uh, really supposed to be praying right now. He says that the eyes of your understanding, 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 start to declare that the eyes of my understanding, I pray, no, another version says, I pray that your heart, your eyes be flooded with light, flooded with light. If you, if you, if you, if your eyes of understanding is enlightened, you will be flooded with light. It says, what are the riches of his glory in the inheritance of his saints? I want you to start to pray and say, God, 
open up my eyes. The eyes of understanding means vision to see and understand. There is knowledge, there is understanding, and there is wisdom. But, but this scripture says that the eyes of your understanding, that your heart may be flooded with light. Start to pray this morning that God, let me understand your ways. Open my eyes to know what you are doing. I don't know why I'm so much particular over these last few days on this prayer because I feel in my spirit, ladies and gentlemen, somebody may miss God's timing for they do not know what God is doing. You may miss it. Somebody is not saying to you, to themselves that, Lord, whatever you need to do, I want to be tried by fire. Somebody is not saying, I want to burn for you. They just want to burn for their desires, burn for the things they want, burn for how they feel. They're burning with anger, burning with anger. You're burning with anger. You're burning with discontent. You're burning with malice. Instead of burning with the fire of God, you know why you're burning and you're angry, why you're frustrated? is because your eyes of understanding is not enlightened. That God is taking you to a higher height. Ah, God, what God is doing right now that looks so negative, God is taking you to a higher height. That the vision is for an appointed time. Though it tarries, ladies and gentlemen, wait for it. Don't Wait for it. The only way you can wait is if you understand why you wait if the eyes of your understanding is enlightened enough to know that although everyone is going before me although everyone looks to be preferred above me although everyone seems to be getting what they want to get although everyone seems to be making progress and I am stagnant in my spiritual life my physical and things around me but your eyes of understanding needs to be enlightened that although you're in the backside of the desert and your and your siblings and your friends and family are in the house the, but God's eyes of understanding needs to open that keep killing the bear keep killing the lions because the prophet will wait for you prophecy will wait for you guys prophecy will be fulfilled over your life but many people truncate that's my prayer you can see my passion many people truncate their destiny truncate the will of god for their life because they go too early they Born for anger, born with impatience. I want you to listen to the song and say, God, I cleanse my heart, purify my heart. I want to burn for you, burn for you. Take my life as a sacrifice. I want to burn for you. I want to burn for you. What? Whatever you desire, God, here's my life. That's an eyes of understanding. Pray along with me this morning. Say, Lord, let the eyes of my understanding, let me see what you are telling me. Because when you see what God is saying, you will not go early. You will not truncate your destiny. You will remain calm. You will see a vision. Say, say start to pray. Say, I will see and follow the signage. Ah. Uh, of God's will. Ah, as you can see on my t-shirt, you see an arrow that goes up. It says, follow the sign. You're being elevated. You are going up. Follow the sign when you get to, to, to the train station. You follow the signs to the line that you want to take. You don't need to cram it. You don't need to memorize it. All you need to do is just follow the signs. You get to King's Cross. There's the Metropolitan Line. There's the Circle Line. There's the District Line. Line. There's the, 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 there's the Piccadilly line. There's different kinds of line. But your destination, though you have two friends getting to the station at the same time, but one may be going down to Cock Fosters and somebody may be going down to Up Minister. You don't because somebody's train comes earlier than yours get onto that train. You follow the sign to where you are going. They may get there 
there early, but you're going to your destination. They may not even go to their own destination. They may be going to a pre-stop. Get out for the station and go somewhere else before they go home. You need to follow the sign that where it takes you. Have you ever been in traffic before and you just see people see a car just take a, a, a turn to a, a, to a side road and you think to yourself, oh, I know where this guy, this guy must know a better route. And then you take that turn with the person and then you keep following them and they keep going and you're happy like, wow, I think I've, I, I think I've, I, I think I've beaten the traffic. I think I've beaten the, and then suddenly you see the guy park and he parks in his house and you're just left like, where do I go from here? It's because you didn't follow the signs, you followed someone else. Your eyes of understanding need to be enlightened. You need to be enlightened that this person is going to their house. You are going to your destination. Say, God, I will follow your signage. Say, God, this day I am elevated to reverse every vision loss in the name of Jesus. Speak this now, this day, and say, God, I'm elevated above tunnel visions of my contemporary. I am elevated. Worship Tabernacle, family and friends, those who are joining us on far away. This is the most important prayer of this month that you will follow God and that your eyes of understanding may be enlightened. That you will be elevated to see above your contemporaries. That you will be elevated. Say, I will be elevated to see and accomplish. Say, I will be elevated, say that, to see, to carry, and to testify. Say, I am elevated, come on, to see, to interpret, and to be patient for fulfillment. That's your next prayer point. You're going to say that three more times. Say, I am elevated to see, to understand, to interpret and to be patient for fulfillment. It's so good, we gotta say it again. Say, I am elevated this season to see, to understand, to interpret and to be patient for fulfillment. Come on, start to pray about that. You've got to see first. You've got to have the flooding of the light of the word of God so you will understand the peculiarity of your situation. Your situation is peculiar to you, tailor-made for you. Somebody may wear a dress that suits them. Your body is not made in that way that it will suit It will suit you. So don't wear what does not fit you. Wear what fits you. Wear what is tailor made for you. Wear what will give you tunnel vision. Ah, to see, to interpret, to be patient for fulfillment. Wear what you see. Wear what you understand. Wear what you interpret. You the way you dress is interpreting your life. <laughs> the way you dress speaks about your life, speaks about what you intend to do. Ah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't, don't fool me, girl. Don't fool me, girl. The way you dress is making a statement of who you are and what you want to achieve. That's the why the Bible says, undress me in the Bible of any iniquity, any sin. The way you dress, no matter what you think, is saying something about who you are, interpreting who you are, and has an intention of what you want to do. Same thing with God. That's why when David was going to kill Goliath, he, he, they dressed him in the armor. He says, I can't fight with this because it's not tailor made for me. This is not what God has used me in the time. I can't fight for this because it has not been tested. Hey, he had understanding. He was flooded that his sling and the stone will kill anything. I don't need to meet in another battle and try somebody else's sword. When David continued in his life, he was no more using the sling and the stone for that period. The period for the sling and the stone had passed. He became skillful in using
using the sword and the spear and the armory. But for the fight of Goliath, his eyes of understanding was enlightened. He dressed the way he wanted to fight. I want to say to somebody, say I'm elevated to see, to interpret, and to be patient. Say I'm elevated above the spirit spectacles of limitation. My vision, say this after me somebody, say my vision is elevated above obstruction. Say my vision is elevated above obstruction. My business, my vision is elevated above floaters and drifters. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. You will not be tossed to and fro by every single word. Your eyes of understanding will be enlightened. Your vision is elated above. Say this after me. My vision is elevated. Say this after me. Say my vision is elevated. Something is coming when I repeat it three times. My vision is elevated above cobwebs and uncertainty. You will know by the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, there will be no uncertainty. By the eyes of your eyes being enlightened, there will be no confusion. When the eyes of your when your, of your, of your understanding is enlightened, there will be no cobwebs, no ambiguity. I declare in the name of Jesus that your vision will be elevated above trespassers. Your vision is elevated elevated above clouds of obstruction. Your vision is elevated ah, to read supernatural directions. Ah, you will know what to do. Ah, Your vision, your eyes is elevated to exit the trenches of double vision. Your eyes is elevated above the waves of impatience. Your eyes this morning is elevated above the call of temptation. Your eyes is elevated above the blinking adverts of destruction in the name of Jesus. Pray that in the name of Jesus. Ah, you will exit chances of double vision. Ah, you will go above the waves of impatience. Ah, you will traverse the currents of temptation. There will be no blowing of the vision in your life this year. You will know and you will achieve what to do. If you believe as Shout amen. Say in the name of Jesus. Say let my spiritual eyes. Come on pray about with that. Say let my spiritual eyes be open to behold wondrous things. Father let me see. Say father let me know. Father let me experience. Say father let me see. Father let me know. Father let me experience your wondrous power. Ah, every secret. Say this after me. Every secret that I need to know to catapult me to the next level. Say, Father, reveal it to me in the name of Jesus. Ah, start to pray. Say, God, anoint my eyes to see divine opportunities. Anoint my eyes to see divine revelation. Come on, somebody. This is not an ordinary prayer. Make me a vessel. Say this. There's a song. It says, make me a vessel. Make me an offering. Say, make me a vessel. Keep of knowing your secrets. Make me a vessel to know what you're doing in my life. Make me a vessel that I may know you that this year I will decline. This year I will turn down. This year I will refuse to stumble in darkness. Come on, come on. As we want to close. Say, this year I refuse to decline, to turn down, or to stumble in darkness. Say, I receive power to operate with sharp spiritual eyes. Many times things are being done, and I'm saying to God, God, what, what are you doing? And then God opens my understanding. He says, just be patient. I am working on something. He will say, don't, don't, make, don't make any decision yet. Don't, don't get involved yet. Be quiet. And that quietness, that patience allows God to walk on my behalf. Pray this prayer, somebody. Say, I receive power to operate with sharp spiritual eyes. Say, I receive power that I will have 
eyes that cannot be deceived. Say right now, Lord, give me insight. Give me insight. Kambono Hosha. We're going to continue this tomorrow. Say, God, give me insight and foresight to make right decisions. Say, God, I, 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 I bind and cast out spiritual cataracts uh, and blindness. Say, give me insight and foresight this morning. Give me insight and foresight and known to my eyes that I may see. Let me have the knowledge of your will, the knowledge of your power, the knowledge of your will, the knowledge of your power, knowledge, knowledge, knowledge and understand. Today we ask you, God, give me the understanding. Fill me with your understanding. Let my eyes of understanding be enlightened. Under and standing. You see, those are two different words that just doesn't match. Yeah. Under but standing. How can you be standing when you're under? Because I'm standing on the promises of God, under the direction of his voice. That's the simplest word called submission. Sub and mission. I am not, I'm, Jesus, Jesus didn't think it wrong to be of equality with God, but he submitted humbled himself you know what he did he 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 came down but he didn't lose his power he didn't lose who he was he didn't lose his virtue but because he understood what god was doing for that moment he sob came under as a substitute for the mission for him to be elevated. Ah, that, and that's the secret of marriage. That's the secret of marriage entirely. If your eyes of understanding is enlightened, submission will not become the issue. Because your understanding it says, I am equal to you, my husband. But I come under the mission to be able to exalt this mission. But while you're exalting it, God says, I will give you a name that is above every other name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee will bow. That is what is called understanding. I am coming under the word of God and then I will stand firm even though it may look like I am losing. I am not losing because I'm patient to watch what God will do for the vision is for an appointed time. Declare this morning that I will not decline, I will not turn down, and I refuse to grope in, 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 in darkness. Start to declare that my path will be made straight as I start to fulfill the word of God for my life. Did anyone get anything from it? Yes. Don't be discouraged. Yes. Don't be discouraged. Your time will come. But this year, you've got to have a vision. You will never achieve anything if your eyes of understanding is not enlightened. Your spirit man must take the lead. Your spirit man, Kayambo Dohusha, must take the lead. Those who are led by the spirit are the sons of God. Those who are led by the spirit are the sons of God. Those who are led by the spirit are the sons of God. So as we're fasting and praying, all you should need to do over this last two weeks that we've started is God lead me. It's called access to the throne room of grace. Lead me. Don't look at what anybody is saying negative about you. Lead me that your eyes of understanding may be enlightened before you arrive at your destination. Mm -hmm. Father, we thank you for this morning. We glorify your name that we will be, we would be, we would be tried by fire. You know what that means? Tried. We are going through trials but you will be purified. Ah, you will be, you will be purified. You, he, you're a refiner. He's a refiner. We want to be consumed by God. And God bless you and keep you as you continue to grow in the things that God has called you to do this day. Well, God bless you, WT. God bless you, family and friends. God bless you for all those who have joined us. We meet, let me quickly say this, we meet together 
again tomorrow. Tomorrow is Wednesday, isn't it? 6 a.m. and 7 p.m. And you don't want to miss those two services. Two services tomorrow, 6 a.m. and 7 p.m. May I remind everyone that Worship Tabernacle for this month, we've gone to two services. 9.30 on Sunday is our first service. We've never done 9.30 with the 10. Don't come at 10. The doors will be closed. So come at 9.30. Let's start 9.30 to 11 o'clock and then 11.30 all the way to 1 o'clock so we can accommodate everyone so I have the freedom to minister so please come and then we all break our fast at 1.30 so 9.30 and 11.30 God bless you we'll see you tomorrow